The car we're talking about today is this 34 sedan. I bought it as a, a vintage car um, and then we proceeded to chop it up and make it into a hot rod. It's got a Commodore Supercharged 6 in it. For me, at my age, it's ample power for me to, to run around with. The original car comes with the ordinary opening doors in the front and the back doors are suicide doors. It's still a standard car, it's still a four-door standard car. The only thing we did to it to make it a bit different was widen the mud guards two inches. Uh, and that's because you can't buy decent wheels to fit suspension you've got to put under it. So you've got to widen the guards to get the right wheels under it. Upholstery in this this particular car is, is Commodore. Re-upholstered, of course, it's not original. The roof is the original look of the soft roof. You see most hot rods usually put a steel roof in. I wanted this to look original. That's why the spare wheels on the back, um, and because I'm scared of getting the puncher. And, and that's why the soft roof. But all the roof is all marine ply and and vinyl and all that sort of stuff. Other than that, it's it's just sort of back to look like it was in 1934, except for the wheels. If you took, put the old wheels back on it, the original, so it'd look like it was in 1934. We drive it whenever we want to go to town. We take that car. We want to go for a drive on Sunday. We take that car. Well, I've had it about four years. It was registrable and drivable when I bought it. I bought it from uh, Maryborough. It was actually in pretty good condition. It's pretty hard to find a car of that age sitting on wheels and be able to be moved. So that's what you do when you buy a vintage car to do up. You're only buying the body. You're not buying any of the mechanical stuff because it's, it's back in 1934, it's 80 odd year old, you know. I've always liked Chevs. Um, and the 34, I like the, I like the cars with running boards, bumper bars and separate headlights. I like driving them. I, I just drive around and people wave to you. you know, always, when you stop somewhere, they want to take a picture of it or something. As far as doing it, it's it's just a hobby. Like if I didn't do that, well, what else are you going to do? Go fishing or play golf or mow the lawn or so? I just come to the shed and play around in the shed all the time.